Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 2 Plains. We've got Galentio with Proels versus Ungern with Old World Alliance. Uh, let's pause in and have a look at the teams. So, Galentio here has got a sure hands thrower. Interesting. A dodge catcher. A wrestle catcher. Another dodge catcher. Dodge stepper. Well, a blodge stepper. A tackle blitzer and a sneaky git lineman. And these poses are really hard to tell which is which, isn't it? That's really hard to tell the difference between the blitzers and the linemen. They were like really distinct in the old ones, weren't they? But they're really close now. Um, so yeah, that's that team, Pro Elves. I think they're tier 2, aren't they? And then uh, the old world lines are tier 4. And we've got 4 guards. And a block catcher, tackle mighty blow, stat blitzers. This is a really nice match for him, isn't it? He gets to hit uh, tackle mighty blow, dodge catchers. Really nice. And a dirty player, player. And he's he's dropped positionals here, as uh, Ungern, to get uh, thirteen players and like a thrower as well. So he's got like he's the way I made the team. I had two. Two halflings on the bench. Um, so he's he's dropped the slayer. He's dropped the slayer at least, right? There was he hasn't taken the slayer. Um, and he's taken the ogre instead of the tree. So that's how he's that's how he saved the money. I preferred the tree and the slayer and having six guard. But uh, we shall see how under scrutiny. So th was this the kickoff rather than the? Um, Rather than the thing, yes. Yeah, so this is the kickoff rather than the thing, and uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just bamboo. I'm trying to understand this dice log here. It says three plus rat race one, and that's five plus rat race. Why does it say plus rat race? Don't understand. But anyway, um, all world alliance win the <laughs> yeah it should be a cheerleader yeah all world alliance win the um, prayer nuffle so the pro elves can't foul and he's got a sneaky git as well so that's pretty brutal isn't it actually and uh, is that just for a half don't know. I think it's the half. I, don't, I think it's just the half, isn't it? Mm. It doesn't get a power. Diced. Interesting that he keeps him up. I think I would have just kept him screened here. But I guess there's no guard. So you're not, he's not going to 1D him, is he? But I would have still kept him free just so that he can react, right? Yeah, not dackering here, Galentio. But then he does have the the sneaky git, right? He didn't know he was gonna get. Uh, he didn't know he was gonna get under scrutiny. Oh wow, horrible green dice. Absolutely terrible. That's almost as big a crime as his crimes versus law of calling his team Middenheim Union. <laughs> but yeah, wow, these these are some ugly dice. It matches his ugly kit. He's got he's got a green and white kit that looks pretty ugly, and he's got green dice that are also ugly. So yeah, really uh, really going in all all in on the ugliness here, Galentio. Um, ugly team name, ugly team kit, ugly dice. <laughs> no no offense. <laughs> oh, and then he cuts himself off with a one. That was an ugly dodge. So. Wow. This is, uh... Right, is the player here. Okay, well, it's already... Yep, yeah, he's already done it. He's already done it. I would quite like putting him in. Yep, that's good. I like that. <laughs> Full mean girl. I don't know about that, so I don't. 
just trying to have a bit of fun. And he punches there. I would have I would have chained him to a uh, got the hit on the other guy, I think. And then trapped him in there, but never mind. This guy should not have been here, right? This guy should have been back. And then you could have fouled. The dirty player could have been there, exposed. Like exposing your mighty blow tackler is uh, not what I would have done. <laughs> like really bad, right? Really bad exposing him. Because now, what's he gonna do? Just punch a goober. Like, you know, you, you need to be him to be able to uh, to apply his mighty blow anywhere. Let me just pause it for a second. Has he not got a hat, hat on? He hasn't got a hat on. And he's got these weird spiky things. So maybe maybe that's some customizations from a button girl in there. Ungern obviously got the uh, ugly teams memo from <laughs> from Galentio. And <laughs> yeah, see, like now this guy, right? If he had been free, he could have mighty blowed, uh, you know, the sure hands, or he could have mighty blowed the wrestler, or he could have mighty blowed this guy who was right there, right? So he's stopped himself being able to mighty blow a dodge catcher, um, or the blood stepper, or whatever, by by just hanging out the previous turn. He did in Aaron, yeah, I haven't done it because I thought, you know, people might would have watched it. I guess maybe people, maybe I should have done it earlier. I'll do it. It's not a good match. It's not a good match. We half spoiled it well while we were doing the other one. While it was live. And it was not a good match. Wow, he skulled skull both down. Defeated by the wrestle. Just gonna punch there. Oh, blitz. Keeps him tagged. Lovely jubbly. So, oh. I wonder if the uh, I wonder if he shouldn't have like GFI'd right. Could have uh, could have put him somewhere else, and then this guy is the one who dodges to go there, right? He's a catcher, so he could have even gone even further. So that so that at least you've got something on a failure state. Is a is a slight. Now, ah, but then he's going to go further. Okay, so that's. I don't think, yeah, I guess he's protecting him there. Interesting, isn't it? Because then you'd have at least had something out here. And in fact, probably could have just gone um, less further forward and had the screen one back and then not had a GFI at all. It's probably better, actually. Now he gets to mighty blow the uh, sidestepper. And we're definitely going to foul him with Dirty Player, I'm sure. Big gang foul here, there's not much else to do in the turn, is there? So yeah. This guy like, it's getting them in quite good, it's getting them in a central position. Really nice. Let's him off, but who cares? Injured Is there an apple for the for the pro-elves? No? Oh god. So instantly two cars, including the blood stepper. Whoa. It's been a costly drive, hasn't it? I think Inarian doesn't like the dacker, I'm not sure. I think his uh his insulting Galentio for not dacking was a, uh, was a joke, but uh the dacker's looking pretty Pretty good now versus this mighty blow DP assault that's happened to the team. Now we're going to come in hard and uh, force an early score, I think. I <laughs> haven't said anything. <laughs> you called him a noob for not daggering. I saw it. <laughs> I read chat in our room. <laughs> Oh, that was cruel. Oh, wow. Sorry. Sorry, 
cruel in an Aryan. Calling him an noob. Calling him a noob made me think it was an Aryan because an Aryan calls everyone a noob, doesn't he? <laughs> it was. It was cruel. It was cruel cosplaying as an Aryan. <laughs> he didn't see anything. Wait, was it not cruel? <laughs> I don't have to pause and look through the chat. <laughs> Somebody said it anyway. Inarian says noob all the time. Is this just a score now? Yeah. So the old world get a chance to score back in two. And yeah, two, I mean, one really nice Kaz, right? The other one's all right, but this is an amazing Kaz. And they've got a catcher, and they've also got the one turn. Or rather, rather like a thrown halfling. So you want the halfling on the pitch, so that you've got the chance. You uh, want the halfling on, so you've got the chance. You want the halfling on, he doesn't put the halfling on. I really want the halfling on there, honestly, just so you can just randomly lob him, right? Evidence. <laughs> Evidence. Oh dear. I think I think you definitely feel the halfling, right? It can three plus through tackle zones in desperation, and it can also get lobbed in desperation. I really quite like fielding the halfling for this drive. Guilty as charged. It was just the noob, honestly. It was just the noob. The noob just made me think an Aryan. Oh. Well, I mean, this is a... He's, is he based? He based with the ball for no reason. Now, I'm not saying that Ungern's a noob. But he just literally based with the ball for no reason. Like, it's not giving him an extra assist. Not what I would have done. Who can say if it's good or bad? I'm gonna wrestle the tackle mighty. Kilt gets charged. Oh wow! Instant apple fails. The thirty-seven and a half percent apple fails. So this is a disaster already. This drive is a complete disaster for the humans. He does the uphill and gets the ball down because he just based the ball for no reason. Outrageous. Outrageous. But he's got the ball and he's got he's some GFIs away. But it's loner, isn't it? It's <laughs> Isn't this a loner like 3 plus? Yeah. 1, 2, 3. I wonder if he should have... Uh, like, filled in that square and then chained his guy forward one. I quite like that. You could have chained in this square, filled in this square, and then chained his guy forward. Um, but he's not. Oh, he's handing off. He's handing off the. Okay, yeah, that's probably better, isn't it? Actually, hand off to the catcher. But uh, he needs somebody in front, I think, as well. It's okay, it's okay, but it's just too easy for Elf to roll some dice, probably. Uh, as they do, yeah. There we go. Doesn't get the pal. No rerolls left. Lack of tackle may be an issue there. And they brought him in another 2D with Wrestle. Lovely. So yeah, that was... He probably had to like have the catcher out one extra square. And like GFI to hand it off to him and stuff. But I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. What happened? It's no idea, Nari. And this goes pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> this goes pretty fast, okay. So we've just gotta we've just gotta go through a breakneck pace and if you're not paying attention, you shit out of luck. This guy's slow as fuck as well, isn't he? He's so fucking slow. Is this guy in range? Yeah, this guy's in range, so we've got a chance. Hasn't really gone for it though, has he? He hasn't really gone for the chance here. He's not even trying. Oh my god, Ungern. He's such a banger. <laughs> He's such a banger. <laughs> and what's this? The thrower could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI, lobbed it and scored. Didn't even try. Didn't even try to score. And look, I know, I know that you know he could have, he 
could have cast his throw going for that, or cast the lineman going for that, and it was safer to just to just go for damage, and you know take it over time to win. But uh, I think he probably should have tried. And again, if he'd fielded the halfling, then he, he could have you know had some kind of play with the halfling as well. But uh, now he's got no choice but to field the halfling because he's got a sent off DP and a cast mighty blow tackle. But there's only eight proels on the pitch. <laughs> Indeed, though. You know, in case anybody thinks I'm having a go at Ungern here, Ungern is a, is a great banger, by the way. Um, he has won Chalice, I think, two or three times. I don't know how many times. But uh, he's at least won it once. Yeah, he should not He should not have left his Tackle Mighty Blow open for a Blitz. No, he should never have done that. Like, not only, like, the fact it randomly getting cars like that, just, like, just it getting occupied and not being able to hit the key players is, is already, like, not good. Yeah, reroll gone. And, and Galentio's got four rerolls here, so... I didn't even notice a dub skull. The, the, the dice and stuff roll so fast, the whole, the whole thing is just so fast. Like, the speed of the replay is pretty fast. All the dice rolls are super fast. Almost incomprehensible. It's uh, it's a bit tricky. You know, Glenty can throw everything at this to try and stop the score, obviously, and win. So, like, it's not over. But, I mean, with eight players, you should be able to get this done as Ungern. This is a bit of a crap way of doing it, isn't it? Like, relying on the ogre to make the blitz and no follow-up hit. But he gets it. I don't know any of the results in Aryan. But, like, the only way Ungern is winning now is in, is in overtime, isn't it? That's the thing. Like... He can't. He can't score early and try and score again. The only way Ungern tries to win is by winning in overtime. Whereas Galentio can either can either hope to win the toss in overtime and then Daka, or he can uh, try some crazy ball grabbing stuff. And uh, you know, I mean, it's probably more likely to win two 0 than one 0 I mean, he can just try and defend, but he hasn't got many players, has he, for that? Wait, he toes the both down to try and hurt him and got him. Wow. I mean, he's a banger, isn't he? <laughs> that is very ungern. Takes the both down. Gets the removal. Whoa. This wrestle getting another stun there. He's going in pretty hard here, isn't he? I guess these four are all pretty isolated, right? This guy's just stuck on him, so he's got four players out of the action. So he's actually kind of outnumbering him. Well, no, he's just removed one, so it's 7v7. Because these four are pretty irrelevant. Not 100% irrelevant, because they've just got relevant, but, you know. Not as relevant, shall we say. <laughs> and he's blitzing over here, which means he's going to have to block with the ball carrier. This is uh, spicy. Or he's going to have to dodge with the ball carrier. Or he's going to hand off. Or he could hand off. Okay, he can hand off. But then he's got no one else free. This guy could have blocked. Yeah, he's going to hand off. The, the blitzer could have blocked, right, and then that guy could have come around the back. Because at the moment, <laughs> handing off when your opponent's got an instant 2D uh, seems a little bit crap. I don't like this 1D. I think you, you, you hit... Oh, you can't hit over here. If you're going to do a 1D... Okay, so he's 1Ding... Wait, this guy's 1Ding? I don't understand. He's got guard there. I just don't understand. I would have rather done this 1D. Right? Do this 1D. 
Hmm. I think this ends up to kind of the same thing, but my way is better, I think, because I get I get to push him out diagonally the next turn. Oh, he gets to push him out diagonally the next turn anyway. So it's fine. No, if he'd followed, he could have done. I don't like pushing him back in here. But I thought I thought my way I got to push him back out that way, but he did as well anyway. Never mind. Same difference. Ah, uh, rerolls fine, right? You've got four rerolls. W winning in normal time is uh, is what you'd want to do as the proils here, I think. Like with so many KOs. Wait, there's only three KOs. Why is there one a bigger bell? One's a bigger bell, and uh, those two aren't in a row. I've got no idea why the thing's gone. Is I think it's okay to try and try and do something there. Well, we've got an, another instant 2D on the ball, more or less. It's going to take a bit of commitment, but I mean, it's a pretty easy 2D on the ball, isn't it? Wow, well, we use the reroll again to, uh, to do that. Rerolls that as well. Oh my god! Putting in all the rerolls here, Galenti. I mean, it is turn thirteen. This is uh, this is pretty rowdy. That's maybe maybe a bit too many rerolls there. But gets the ball loose and gets the stun. <laughs> wow! Wow! I mean, that was a lot of rerolls. We got the job done, didn't it? I guess. Well, maybe. Depends whether it gets the job done, I guess. Another KO. Hells will score. I mean, yeah, this is the thing. It's like, it's actually looking pretty good, isn't it? He just failed the dodge. And, uh, just went for a 4 plus dodge. Maybe he didn't realise it was a dodge. But, uh, yeah, now it's over. So, so now, making all of those, uh, making all of those re-rolls seems pretty good. As uh, as he is away, yeah, that's the last reroll. Flip me, flip me. But yeah, now there's like four players doing absolutely nothing. Four players on the ground, and imagine making all of these removals and not winning. And not only not winning, losing two <laughs> 0 <laughs> Flip me. Flip me. And he's just blitzing him and dub sculling. Dead. <laughs> dead, dead, dead. Wow. Wow. And yeah, and just score. This is one of the cases where it's just better to score, right? You want to look. You're better break. off just scoring, scoring <laughs> there and uh, killing the game. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Seven players left. Banged out pretty hard by Ungern. But that random Kaz was lovely, wasn't it? Him exposing him was bad, really. And uh, really messed up the air. Uh, the, the score, didn't he? Had a pretty, like, what, a three turn score Ungern had? And that three turn score somehow did not only not, did he not score, he got his mighty goal tackler Kaz. And. Uh, and in the second half, got myself in all kinds of trouble as well. So yeah, this the sole pro elf team, well Elven Union as they're called now, gets the win without Dakarin. What a noob! <laughs> oh, glorious ends the turn. What a pro! What a pro! Honestly, Anarin, I quite like catch not being optional because, as I say, you couldn't just throw a ball at, at uh, Jerry Rice and have him not catch it, right? His, his superior ability at catching wouldn't make him better at not catching. He would just catch everything automatically. So while it's it's according to the rules, it's terrible fluff-wise, isn't it? So I'm, I'm kind of fine with that not being uh, optional as far as it goes with... Uh, 
with that sort of thing. Anyway, yeah, there you go. Congratulations, Galencho. Uh, commiserations, Ungern. <laughs> I, I am always right, unfortunately, in Aaron. There you go. Yeah, good game. Uh, well done. Well done, Galentio. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.